Hello everyone, welcome to Storycraft Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute dress that is not a dress. Let's get started. Step 1. Choose your fabric. I think you can use most any fabric you would use for a doll in this, but I prefer something that drapes well for this, which is why I went with a spandex type fabric. Quick note, I started with the shimmery teal over here, but then my sewing machine ate it, so I switched to this blue spandex which is why they're both in this video. Step two, measure. Measure your doll from top of the shoulder down between the legs and back up to the shoulder. This is the only measurement you'll need and I'd recommend adding an inch to an inch and a half to give yourself some room. Step three, cut. Cut out two squares the width and height of the measurement you just took. Step four, pin and mark. Pin the two squares together along one edge. This is the center seam of the garment. Mark a half to full inch box at each end of this edge to create the top area. Step five, sewing the middle. You can totally hand sew this if that's more comfortable, but I recommend using the sewing machine for a tighter stitch. Just start from one box and stitch to the other, remembering to back stitch both ends to lock it tight. Also, if you're working with a stretchy fabric like I am, then you should hold it taut to keep it from puckering and maintain control. Stretch knits like to run around. Step 6. Hem the legs. Take the edges opposite the middle stitch and fold them over to the length you want the legs. Pin it down and run it through the machine with the folded edge facing up. I know that's not what the video shows, but I did it wrong. I did a decorative stitch to hem, but I was too lazy to make a bobbin for the very specific color I wanted. So I did it upside down and missed like half of the edge, which left a mess. So, do as I say, not as I do. Step 7. Sewing the legs. Fold your rectangle in half and sew up from the bottom to the boxes, then back down to the other side. Remember to lock stitch. I was on such a roll at this point, I forgot to record. Sorry! Step 8. Hem the top. Get a needle and thread. There is no way to do this on the machine, so here we go. Turn and stitch the triangles that make the opening in the middle of the tube. You can use normal thread to just stitch it down cleanly, or embroidery thread to add some color like I have. Step 9. The straps. Turn the tube right side out and slide the doll in. Take some ribbon and stitch it on to make straps. Either cut to the perfect length or leave four lengths you can tie together. Don't use embroidery thread like I have, because it gets caught in the shoulder joints way too easy. Step 10. Accessorize. Add some shoes to keep it simple and flowy, or a belt and shawl for a cute street look. Anything goes. Thanks for watching, and I hope you had fun. Bye!